So, third tip, 3D. Once again, for Thailand, we've seen a rope routine. Here she goes with ball. Now you mentioned that Mitch's in the presentation. But it's an all-round exercise. The judge is looking for several different qualities here. They are. There's the, the execution. Everything you do has to be done as accurately as possible. And that execution mark stands alone. It's from 10 and it stands alone. Then they're looking at artistry. The way you put the exercise together in terms of musicality, choreography, balance between the jumps, leaps, flexibility in wave elements. And then the actual difficulty. How many spins and pivots and they build up and so on. They take the artistic and difficulty together and divide it by two to give a final mark from 20. But as we watch this, the ball does lend itself more to building difficulty and you find most of the less experienced gymnasts will have a higher difficulty mark with ball because of the time it spends in the air and the more you can do underneath it. So we'd expect the scores for ball to be a little higher. Yes, that's nice. Nice trap. Roll and spin. Yes, you'd expect the difficulty mark to be higher. Nice pivot, but she was heavy out. That was a good routine. And it'll be up.